I now give the floor to the single representative of uh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, you have the floor. May I first of all congratulate you on your leadership <coughs> of this conference. You and your team have given uh, it your best shot, in my view. Uh, there is every reason uh, to be uh, happy in the manner in which you conducted this meeting. Uh, Sri Lanka, Mr. Chairman, aligns itself with the statement uh, made by the non-aligned movement. Uh, the outcome of this conference, although uh, perhaps could have been much better, there are lessons to be learned from, that out from this outcome of not having the result we would have liked to have achieved just now. We therefore need to build back better uh, from uh, this outcome. We can perhaps take uh, solace in the famous proverb of, from Samuel Beckett when he says, failure is success in progress. Mr. President, I'm also reminded at the same time, having witnessed uh, the, the works of this committee in the last few weeks, of the poetic words of Rudyard Kipling, when he bemoaned the lack of commonality and echoed amongst the parties the words, or oh, east is east, west is west, and never the twain shall meet, till earth and sky stands presently at God's grace judgment seat. But they are neither east or west, border nor breed nor birth, when strong men stand face to face, though they come from the ends of the earth. Mr. President, my view is that we can still achieve agreement. Time does not run out. It is we who run out of time. Pause for a moment, I ask Mr. President, to think of a scenario where we did not have the NPT. Think of an international community without an NPT. The treaty, of course, undoubtedly, is not perfect. And we will probably never have a perfect treaty. But we must concede for ourselves that the NPT has provided a long-lasting legal structure for other important elements of the international nuclear non-proliferation architecture, such as nuclear weapon-free zones, international safeguard programs, and so on and so forth. We cannot ignore the fact of the significant reduction of nuclear arsenals amongst the superpowers that has been achieved by virtue of a strong NPT regime. We must not forget the fact that the treaty objectives are laudable and its mechanisms have prevented further spread of nuclear weapons. The elimination of existing nuclear arsenals and surely the reduction and finally and making it available to all states access to peaceful applications of nuclear energy for social and economic benefits for our people. No doubt the NPT has not prevented a complete proliferation of nuclear weapons, which is still beyond our reach. But what we must appreciate is that without the NPT and the treaty obligations by the nuclear weapon states to pursue policy, a policy of disarmament, we would surely be in a more difficult situation. We, the member states, have tried hard in the last few weeks to agree on a unified position. But despite the contentious debate we have had between the nuclear weapon states and the non-nuclear weapon states, there appears to be significant common ground that brings together the treaty parties. We have demonstrated that in, the, that in ample measure in the last few weeks. The debate we, wit we witnessed was always at a high pitch, but let not our differences decide the future of the NPT. As someone said, let not our efforts to have, within quotes, a perfect document be the enemy, within quotes, of the good we pursue, because to do so leaves us with nothing. Let us walk away from this conference in the belief that we have come to an, an under to understand each other better, and that the complete agreement is not so far away. This conference has been a critical opportunity for 191 state parties to reinforce our cry against nuclear weapons, Could co to condemn any use of nuclear weapons, and call to action the Article 6 to, to pursue negotiations in good faith. We must concede, Mr. President, 
that all the deliberations have not been in vain. We have seen nuclear weapon states conclude a series of bilateral arms control reduction agreements to cap their inventories with a view to finally reducing their nuclear arsenals. Our efforts have constrained nuclear competition and reduced the threat of nuclear war and strengthened the non-proliferation regime. Permit me to recall the words of President Biden in a speech in 1979, when he was then a senator, when he said, pursuing arms control is not a luxury or a sign of weakness, but international responsibility and a national necessity. You will appreciate that recent military operations undertaken by the superpowers demonstrates the fact that the current non-proliferation treaty norms or taboos rest not only on formal or abstract considerations, but also of self-interest and prudence. We as member states at this conference have made a united call on the nuclear weapon states, particularly the, the, the superpowers, to conclude talks on perhaps something like start follow on the follow-on agreements with the objective of further cuts in nuclear warheads before 2025. We have also sought a pledge by other nuclear armed states and to engage in nuclear risk reduction talks and to agree to freeze their inventory of nuclear arsenals. Excellencies, it is not as if though that we walk away with nothing to take home. It is Sri Lanka's respectful view that we look at the concept of nuclear non-proliferation holistically and appreciate that appreciate the fact that we've achieved progress of a relative degree to understand each other better i have no intention of philosophizing the existence of our lives but cannot recall the words but cannot but recall the words of confucius who said we have two lives the second begins when you realize you have only one so let's not squander the opportunity of a world sans nuclear weapons to ensure that we enjoy the best of that one life and the elimination of nuclear weapons from the face of the planet. Sri Lanka, Mr. President, will support this initiative until we achieve its objective. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the representative of Sri Lanka for his statement. And I